Hello again and welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is another beer from Vale of Glamorgan Brewery and it's the chocolate beer. It's the Chocks Away. Really excited about drinking this beer. Um, reason being is I've never actually tasted a chocolate beer before. I was going to buy a Young's um, Double Chocolate Stout, give that a go. Um, but I never got round to it, so I visited my local brewery, which is run by Ian and Dave, um, which I got a little bit to say. I'm quite, I'm quite pleased. I met Ian again on Monday morning. Let's get this open first. Let's pour it out, and then we'll have a chat. Plenty of smoke there. Plenty of smoke. Let's give this a smell. Oh, it's, look, it's like a um, definite chocolate there with a hint, a hint of caramel and it's, I'd say, it's a, to me, there's a bit of, bit of coffee in it as well. Beautiful. There's the glass. It didn't come out very well in the last review, see if I can hold it back a bit further. That's Vale of Glamorgan Brewery's glass. Um, the brewery was founded in 2005. Oh, look at this. Oh, look, nice. Nice bit of carbonation going. Um, small one, pinky head. I cooled this down to, importantly, I cooled this down, the optimum temperature is 10 to 12 degrees. I got this down to 11, I got this in between, this is cooled down to 11 degrees. Um, looks really nice actually, and the smell, the smell is beautiful, it's like a, like a coffee, chocolatey, caramelly, well, Let's give it a, let's, that was the smell, let's give it a taste. <sighs> Lovely. I've had, um, I've had a coffee, I've had a couple of coffee, yeah brews in the past and one was notably it had it was it was coffee at first and then it carried on and carried on and carried on. It very it was like a this the coffee taste seemed to get stronger and stronger and stronger whereas this one you have the coffee taste and then there's the chocolate And then there's a hint of caramel and, and there's something else there as well, let's find it. There's definitely something else. And it's slightly hoppy. But as I was saying, the coffee flavour got stronger and stronger and stronger with this other brew. This one the coffee flavour comes in and then it tails off nicely. It's not overwhelming the beer. It, it's, it's a nice, balanced, very, very balanced taste with the hops, the caramel and the chocolate. But there's definitely a hint of coffee in you. <coughs> It's brewed in Barry, where I live, within a mile of where I live. Um, it's brewed, Barry is in Wales, see it is brewed in Wales on the bottom. And if you see there, that's a picture of Dave. That's a picture of Dave, the owner, on the ball, in a flying hat. And he looks like he's just taking some aeroplanes out the sky there on his, um, in his aeroplane. It's a pint bottle. Um, and it's saying on the bottle that it's a mahogany coloured best bitter full body with some immediate chocolate flavour absolutely balanced with a satisfying aftertaste um, 
For me, me personally, it's coffee first, then like a chocolate caramel flavour, and then your hops. Your hops is your aftertaste for me, but it's a beautiful beer. Um, um, I met, yeah, I had his business card, Let's hold that there, that's Ian Teagle. I met him on Monday again over at the brewery. Um, we had a chat about um, the lightheaded I reviewed. Um, I chilled it down to four degrees. Now, preferably, Dave, um, we had a chat. Um, I had a chat with Ian, shall I say, and it, it really being, it looked, it, it, it was a very, very tasty pint of lightheaded, but it should have been, um, the temperature should have been 10 degrees. Um, I don't know why I called it down to four degrees, but it wasn't from the instruction. It was a small error by me, but the beer still tasted absolutely fantastic. If you like your beers cold, then it, it, it does ideally um, cool down nicely. So it's, it's, it's your own personal preference on this. But after the chat, they've, they've agreed to um, put me on a beer course, uh, a small course or something. We're going to have a chat when um, I think Dave's on holiday. We're going to have a little chat about that, but I'm going to be going on a course. So um, I'll learn a little bit more about beer, but I promise not to bore you on the subject. <laughs> um, okay, the internet site for Vog Brewery is www.vogbrewery.co.uk. Telephone number if you want to get in contact with them is 01446 730 they got all their beers, there's a range of their beers here, which is groggy, vog, better than ever, wheat's occurring, chocks away, and the light headed. Um, you can get them in Britain at the moment, but they're opening up an internet site um, to order beer in the near future. Right, I did read this on the light headed, but if you haven't seen it, uh, Vog is the brainchild of real ale lovers Ian Teagle and Dave Walworth, who had long shared a dream to start a local brewery in the Vale of Glamorgan, that's in Wales. Their dream became a reality in 2005 when they took the plunge and opened the VOG brewery based in Barry near Cardiff in South Wales. It's over Barry Docks, um, just literally two minutes. I live right on the docks. These houses were built for the docks. Um, it's the second, it was the second deepest dock in the world. I don't know if it is anymore. But um, their goal was to produce quality cask conditioned ales under the VOG brewery name. Um, their goal was to produce quality cask condition ales under the Vogue Brew name. I'd say they've achieved that goal. They, it's been open five years, they obviously know what they're doing. Um, fantastic beers, look at the lacing on that. Really, really good. Um, they know exactly what they're doing. So give, give, give it a while, wait, wait for the internet side to come up. And I've had light-headed, just looking at the time, I don't know where I left, light-headed, um, I had a lot of people asking, querying whether they can get this beer throughout the world. Um, so stay patient. It, they don't, the internet site will be open in the future to order some beer, but give it a chance. But I'm going to rate this beer now. I'm going to give this beer an 8 out of 10. Um, okay, thanks for watching the Real Ale Guide. Um, I put beers on once, maybe twice a week, depending on how things go. Um, my Twitter at Real Ale Today. If you want to have a look at the site, it's Real Ale Guide um, at googlemail.com. That's my uh, email address, and it's www.youtube.com forward slash Real Ale Guide. Subscribe to my channel if you like it. Leave some comments. I'm always looking for constructive comments. If it's constructive, constructive criticism, that's absolutely fine. Um, yeah, subscribe, invite me as a friend, but cheers for watching the Real Ale Guide. Um, more beers coming on in the future. I've got a couple of beers coming from Thomas Watkin Brewery next, and then we're back onto this range from Vogue. Thanks for watching. Cheers.